Hello and welcome back to Focus Atlanta. Thanks so much for continuing to watch. In this segment, we're going to talk a little bit about the ladies, our little ladies who are into sports and activities and how they may be suffering more ACL in injuries than we even expected. I'm here with Dr. Fosters of Children's Healthcare of Atlanta. Hi, thank you for having me. No, thank you so much. You know what? I never even thought about the fact that um, girls are suffering these ACL injuries. In fact, sometimes more than boys, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, so ACL injuries is a sports injury that we run into both in boys and girls, but there actually is like a prevalence. Like we see it more often in our girls instead of the boys. Both of them have injuries, but we do see it more often with girls than boys because of a couple different things. Um, so the ACL like stands for like anterior cruciate ligament. Um, it's one of the main knee stabilizers. And so it's like it is primary function is to uh, almost like stabilize our femur, our thigh bone, and then our tibia, our shin bone. And it's something that we typically will see like it gets injured whenever like athletes are like running, jumping, they're having like, like quick pivoting motions, those kind of things. And more like sometimes we see those injuries with contact, but actually more often than not, it's a non-contact injury that that actually causes in those like sudden like cutting or like pivoting kind of motions that stress the ACL and cause it to almost all stress in a way it's not meant to. And then there's actually other like re relating to like girls versus boys. We, there's actually a couple like mechanical and hormonal things that are different in our female athletes versus our male athletes that actually predispose them to having um, an ACL injury. So specifically like a couple of those things. Uh, so girls like like um, have like a wider uh, wider hips and so that increases the, the angle. So when that thigh bone is coming in um, towards the knees, that comes at a more of an angle. And so that actually puts a little bit more force on the ACL when we're doing that cutting and pivoting kind of motion especially when we're like jumping or landing or doing those kind of activities during sports that are more female predominated or like um or gymnastics those kind of things um other things that we see it uh, uh that cause it so like at the knees so there's actually like a little small ridge that the acl passes through we call it the intercondylar ridge but in girls that's actually a little bit narrower than it is in boys and so like if you think about it like when they we're doing that cutting that pivoting that twisting motion um it it just is, puts a little bit almost more of a strain or a little bit of, like a pinching on the on the acl in girls compared to boys wow. and then there's also an a, um muscular balance differences so oh like specifically like the hamstring muscles in the back of the knee are supposed to help stabilize it um and then like the the quadriceps uh, muscles on the front are a little bit when we see that those muscles are a little bit stronger or the quads are a little bit stronger than the hamstrings then we actually see that that's an increased risk for acl injuries and that is something that we typically see more often uh in girls rather than guys so there's a higher risk from that standpoint wow. and then the final thing is actually like hormonal differences so um testosterone um which uh, uh guys have obviously more of than compared to girls, um, increases muscle density. And so female athletes typically have a little bit less testosterone than males. And so, and females actually have a little bit more estrogen, which is essential for bone growth, but actually also has the other effect of like increased laxity on tendons and ligaments, which predispose athletes to injury. Could you close out with just anything that we could tell our female athletes in terms of um, stretching or being more cognizant or being more careful? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So there's a lot of things that we can do to prevent this as well. So for both guys and girls. Um, so it's consistent training, like having like building up that muscle strength and that on its own helps to build like uh, improve athletes like balance and coordination to kind of reduce that stress or like reduce the likelihood of having one of those cutting or pivoting motions caused injury to the ACL. Doing like a good thorough like stretching and like warming up prior to participation in uh, competitive sports or before you're practicing um and then doing like a good job at like making sure we're like strengthening both like our core muscles and then our lower body muscles to kind of all help provide stabilization at the knee and and our entire lower extremities are all things that are like protective and things that can help 
prevent those ACL injuries with both our female and our male athletes. Wow, thank, thank you so much for your time. It was a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. All right, there is something that we can do in terms of preventative actions to make sure that we're taking care of our young athletes. Thanks so much for tuning in to this segment of Focus Atlanta. We'll be right back with more.